Hey besties and welcome back to another uh, episode here in with Jasmine Isaguirre. We are going to be doing a challenge today. This video is a little bit different because it is a challenge slash everyday look slash I don't freaking know. But this video that we're going to be doing here is going to be a video where I will be using only five makeup products to create this look that I have here today. Now, when I say five makeup products, I literally mean that this is my go-to makeup bag. This is what I take to work. And this is half of it only because I've been digging in there to take things out. But this is what I normally take to work when I do my makeup there. And these are like my highlighter, my powder, bronzer, um, um, foundation primer eyebrow like I have so many different products that I use just to achieve my everyday makeup look so many like look at this bag it's bigger than my face it's pretty big but with today's video we are gonna be doing we are gonna be doing a challenge where we only use five products and those five products are this a lipstick a concealer and an eyeliner and I know that's four, but then the last one was my, what was the fourth? <gasps> my makeup bag just fell. The fourth one were my lashes, which you can either use lashes or mascara. You can honestly use whatever as long as it's five products. So if you guys want to stay tuned to see how I achieved this very wearable, very easy, and very fast makeup look, then you go ahead and you keep on watching. <laughs> jump into the video like I mentioned in my intro you guys we are gonna be doing a whole makeup look with only five makeup products which is kind of a challenge because I normally use so much products in order just to get in order to get to the makeup look that I want to achieve I usually have eyeshadow palettes different um, bronzers, blush, concealers, foundations so many different things that I have to carry around um, it's just ridiculous so i was like let's try to do a makeup challenge where we do our makeup only using five products and let's see if we can do it because it's gonna be a hell of a challenge for me you guys like i can't i can't like esta cara está bien pinche fea and i need more than five products to make myself look presentable and to catfish everybody because i can't do it with only five products but that is the challenge and we're gonna go ahead and hope that it works out so let's jump into the some of the products that i'm gonna be using so to start off we are just going to be using a concealer we're going to be using this little palette here which is brand new i just got it this was actually one of the things that inspired me to do this video this is called sculpt and glow it's by models own cosmetics i don't know if you guys have heard of that brand i had never heard of it until i seen it at ulta and i just thought their like packaging and things were so cute do you guys see how that is holographic it's so beautiful and inside, ooh, inside, it's brand new. Inside comes this nice ass mirror. Inside comes this nice ass mirror, which I don't wanna show because you're gonna be able to see everything. But then it comes with a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. So I said we're using five products. I didn't necessarily mean that you only had to do five makeup steps. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of cheating here. We're not doing five makeup steps. This is five makeup products. So this consider this counts as one makeup product, even though it has three different steps in it. So this is one, two. Obviously, we need some type of lipstick in our life. So that's three. And then we have our brow, which is right here, which is four. And then we have either lashes or mascara, which is step five. And let's hope that this comes out as planned because honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. So now with this makeup look, before I get started, um, I'm not going to be wearing foundation because I want this to be very like everyday, very wearable. If you're going to the grocery store, if you're a college student and you are on the run, if you just go to work, whatever your situation is, if you don't want to spend too much time on your makeup, I want this to be something that you are able to do. So let's hope that it works okay because if it doesn't and it's a total fail then um don't listen to me okay because i don't know what i'm talking about so to start off i do have a concealer now with a concealer you can do one or one you can go one of two ways you can use something that matches your skin so you can kind of use it like a foundation um or you can do something lighter because i am going to be applying it here and i am going to be trying to apply it on some of my acne areas as we all know that i have 
um, that's gonna be the first step now normally in my regular makeup routine I always use a primer primer is a big thing for me because you know it smooths out my uh, big ass pores that I have it uh, smooths out my acne areas it gives me like a smooth surface surface to work on and obviously I'm not gonna be using that in this step because then that would be step number six and that's not what this challenge is called it's five makeup products so for this I do really 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 encourage that you guys do a good makeup skin routine before you do apply your makeup so whether you use a face mask or a face scrub or um, moisturizer whatever it is that you do for your uh, makeup skin routine do it this is gonna be something very important if you're trying to do this five step nope if you're trying to do this five product makeup look because you want to make sure since you're adding less makeup to your skin you want to make sure that you have a good smooth healthy looking skin on the bottom you want to make sure they have a good smooth surface which is what I was trying to say and you want to make sure that your your natural skin is as glowy and as healthy looking as possible since we're not gonna be adding too much makeup on it okay and that's a big big struggle with me because like I said I have pores I have oily skin I have um, acne acne scars like whatever you can think of that can go wrong with skin I have it so I am very very I try to be at least I try to be very big on skincare I have so many face masks face wash I do it all and I think that that's why it doesn't even work sometimes but as of as of right now and from you what you can see I don't think it looks Wow, my phone is rude okay anyways as you can see right now my skin looks pretty decent I tried to do uh, my skincare routine so that's why we're not gonna be priming so we're gonna go straight into concealer and I'm gonna use my color pop the reason I'm using my color pop even though it looks very light it's because if once I put it on my skin it kind of oxidizes a little bit into my skin tone color so I think it's gonna work good both as a corrector and a brightener so I'm gonna start off by kind of applying it first where I have my problem areas <laughs> as we all know it's a lot now with this five product makeup challenge it doesn't have to be the products that i just gave you it can be any products that you that you find necessary for you to achieve um a good makeup makeup look i know right now my middle bien wera like i look like i look right now i look um like that one time that i put that bright ass foundation on my skin but i promise it's not gonna look that bad like I'm looking at myself in the camera and I look so white right here and then my forehead looks super tan I know me miro ridicula but don't worry we will be bronzing and all of that other good stuff so we're not gonna worry about it right now okay oh my god I look crazy yes I look very white so right now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm taking a little bit of this again but this time what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna brighten so I'm brightening under my eyes I'm taking a little bit on the bridge of my nose which is where I would normally highlight a little bit on my forehead I'm gonna take some on my lids as well because I want to make sure those are prepped for when we apply the shadow and then on my chin So now what we're doing is we are simply buffing all of this out. Ya se, ya se, miren, miren. Ya se lo que están pensando, girl. You look so white, like what are you doing? Pareces freaking ghost. Well, trust the process, honey. I'm not done yet. Give me a second to get myself together. This is not what I'm gonna look like, okay? <laughs> So now that we have the concealer, now that we have the um, brightening, you just want to make sure that whatever is left on your brush, you kind of just drag it down your neck because even though we're not wearing foundation, we are applying a little bit of that concealer, and you don't want it to, uh, you don't want to, um, people to see that difference of where you applied the concealer and where you didn't. Okay. Oh my God, I look like what's that ghost's name? I don't freaking know but we're going into this palette like I mentioned
mentioned this is something new that I discovered at Ulta from Models Own Cosmetics. Never tried their products, but I really hope it works because once I seen this on the little um, display, I thought it was so cute. I will show you the packaging, but it fell and I'm not about to reach for that. Um, it's called Sculpting Glow. Look at that holographic. I know I already said it, but it's so cute. And then when you open it up, what I love about this is it has a humongous mirror on this side. And then it has big ass, um, big ass pants. That's what I was looking for. Big ass pants. And then they do have different shades. I have the medium to tan, um, all three. That's what this one is called. So this is for like tanner skin and then they have a lighter one. And I believe they have another shade and then a darker one so they have like four different kind so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going into sculpt which is the bronzer and we're gonna go into our second product which is bronzing we're gonna go ahead we're let me say that again we're gonna go ahead into our second product but this would be our third step because we've uh, concealed we've brightened and now we're bronzing We're going in there again and we're gonna go ahead and take the forehead. Hmm, how do I feel? Wow, I look ridiculous still, but it's totally okay. You gotta make sure you trust the process because claro que te vas a mirar bien ridículo al principio, but once you have it all together, it will look way better. And I don't even want to show my nails, you guys, because I took my nails off and they look so gross. Like, look at that. <laughs> gross. But, um... Yeah, just make sure you bring it on the big ass forehead you've got and if you don't got a big ass forehead then you're freaking lucky but if you do got a big ass forehead like me then it's okay honey you're still cute make sure you bring it and you drag it down your neck bertha hasn't been coming out too much or i'm lying she's been coming out a lot but you know we still gotta hide the bitch because she likes to make her appearances here and there I hate wearing white shirts, especially when I do my makeup because that's terrible. Why would you do that? But obviously, I'm doing it for the video. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I still look at myself in the camera and I still feel like I look very light. But I'm just going to go ahead and take a fluffier uh, powder brush and just kind of mix everything together. And by everything together, I just kind of want to bring some of that bronze into the areas that I brighten just to um, kind of tone down the brightness because I feel like it looks very bright. Pero no sé, ustedes díganme a mí because I've already told you I'm hella blind and on my monitor I look cute as hell but I, I don't really. Now so that was, um, we're still in step two. So we're still uh still in product two but now we're going on to step four which is going to be to apply some blush we're going to go ahead and apply uh, apply blush but we're still using the same product because there's three things in here so we went into scope now we're going into afterglow we're only going to grab a little bit because it does have uh, the uh brown not the bronzer the blush that uh, oh my lord the blush that comes in this palette is very very nice and very peachy but it does have some um kind of some glow in there and i don't want my cheeks to be too glowy tampoco you know so smile and you guys already know that i like to kind of take it into the apples of my cheek and drag it up and that's gonna bring some color into our face so we don't look so freaking washed out. Mm. I'm looking a little bit better, but the only thing that makes me look really funny is that I don't have any eyelashes, no liner, no eye makeup, and I have tiny eyes. But um, let's go ahead and we're gonna brush out our, we're gonna brush out our brows. 
So I just want to go make sure they're brushed out because we will be doing them a little bit. Mm. Okay, guys, so you know how I said that I have the five products. So far, I've used a concealer and I've used this sculpting glow um, kit. So that's two products. And then I mentioned that I had a lipstick, I had a brow, and then I had lashes. And then I did mention that you don't necessarily have to use those five products. You can use anything as long as it's five of them. Oh, my Lord. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the brow and substitute it with a liner because I kind of need my liner but since I do kind of want to fill in my brows a little bit I'm going into uh, the same bronze so I'm taking a I'm gonna go ahead and take a little brow brush and I'm taking sculpt which was the bronzer and I'm gonna kind of go ahead and just fill in my brows a little bit so just a little bit now I know that this bronzer here is light, you know, it's a very warm tone and it's definitely lighter than what I do for my brows. But since this is an everyday look that we're going for, something easy, something simple, we just want to make sure that our eyebrows look a little bit filled in, even if they're not as dark, because we're not going for a dark, dark look. We're just going for something to cover up the little patches we got going on here. All right, so my camera died. <laughs> no, it didn't die, but it turned off. So all I went ahead and did was I took the same concealer that we used to correct and brighten, and I just took it to kind of sculpt out my brow. So with my brow, all I did, like I um, like I mentioned, all I did was take some of the bronzer and fill them in a little bit, and then I just took some of the concealer and I cleaned them up on the bottom, not at the top because we want to go for a more natural look. <sighs> so there we go. <laughs> okay so now uh since we are moving on to the eyes we are gonna go ahead and leave the highlighting for the end so i'm just taking a little bit more of the concealer on the lids even though i already applied some we just want to go ahead and do everything again we're gonna go ahead and do that blend it out okay so for the eyeshadow here we are gonna go ahead and take one of our little brushes and this is just a morphe m441 we're going back into the same bronzer same bronzer same product same kit so we're going back into that bronzer we're taking it on our little brush we're gonna stamp it into the crease and the reason we're stamping it into the crease is because you guys already know we applied concealer but we didn't set it so we're stamping on the product first and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it out. My phone is so rude, who is texting me? <laughs> I'm not popular, so. Okay, can you guys see that? I don't know if I'm close enough, but can you guys see the difference already? We just applied a little bit of bronzer into the crease to give it a little bit of dimension, nothing crazy. And then with whatever's left on the brush, without dipping back in, just whatever's on the brush, we're gonna go ahead and sweep it on the lid to make sure there's no creasing with that concealer we applied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're just taking some more and doing the same thing on the other eye. And then we're just blending, blending, blending. So yeah, we're just uh, blending out the crease, but we are almost done here. Okay, now that we're done with the bronzing, no, I mean that's not me. <laughs> now, we're now that we're done with the bronzing, we're gonna go ahead and move on to step number three no product number three which is going to be my uh my eyeliner my mom's here and she's making me kind of nervous <laughs> because she's standing right there but i'm just taking my liner and we're going to go ahead and create a small wing nothing too dramatic nothing too crazy And we have that wing there. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye really quick. I don't know if it looks even, but we're gonna go ahead and go with it. <laughs> so again, just to recap, we have used the concealer, the glow kit, the eyeliner, and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the fourth product, which is the lips. 
And for lips, I'm just using this brown nude color. You can use whatever if you want to do something a little bit bold. Do a red, do an orange, pink, whatever is your choice, honey. If you want to do blue, do blue. You guys already know this is my color right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. So we're just applying the lipstick. And that is product number four, which is lips. And now we're moving on to the last product, which like I mentioned before, can either be mascara or lashes. Fun fact about me, I don't have no type of lashes at all. No natural lashes. I don't have little lashes, big lashes. I have zero. Okay, I'm exaggerating a tad bit, but I do have no lashes, so I never apply mascara. I just apply my falsies, which I don't have right here, but I am going to pop my lashes on, and then we're going to go ahead and come back to finish this look. I'm lying. Before we apply our final product, which is our lashes, we're going in back to our kit, and we're going to go ahead and highlight the crap out of our face, because you already know. Let me go ahead and swatch this to see. Mm, I don't know. Is it anything? Mm. Mm. You know what? I think I got played to the max. Okay, I want you guys to know that I got played really, really bad right now. Um, it says light up, and I thought that it was a highlighter, which is not. It's not a highlighter. It's actually a powder so that you can brighten your under eyes. But we're gonna go ahead and dig into it anyways because you know i'm oily as hell so we're gonna go ahead and take some of that powder and just apply it under our eyes and you guys know what that means that simply means that we don't have no type of highlighter and i am not going to be highlighting today of course you can after you're done with this and you can like you're not restricted to only using five products but for the sake of the video since that is what we're doing here we're not gonna go ahead and dig into highlighter even if i want to so bad but all right let me go ahead and pop on my lashes and i'll be right back to end the video all right guys and i'm back i put my lashes on and this is the final look i hope that um you guys were able to follow it i my god my phone needs to fucking shut up I hope that you guys can do something uh, with this little challenge. I hope you guys try it and I hope it works for you because even though I started off looking like a mess, I think it turned out pretty well. Obviously, there is a whole bunch of products that I wish I was able to use. Um, I at least have a highlighter, but it was not one of the five products that I had in hand. So this is my full face using only those five products. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification uh, little bell and obviously comment and yeah, see you guys in my next video. One more thing real quick, we did reach 200 subscribers. Um, with my last video because i did mention in my last video that if i reach 200 subscribers that i was probably going to do a little giveaway or something along those lines I don't think that i haven't been thinking about it i don't know what kind of giveaway i'm going to do yet but we did reach the 200 subscribers thank you so much to all of you who do tune in to watch my videos um i know i didn't post this last week so i am hoping to post two videos this one and another one um i haven't posted because i did have surgery which we'll get into that later but i did have surgery so i wasn't in the mood and i didn't edit and i didn't film but yes we did reach 200 subscribers we did reach 200 subscribers thank you so much for everybody for everybody who tunes in um i appreciate you besties thank you thank you all right so i'll see you on the next video